So, a quick note, I discovered something just now looking at myself in the phone when I go... I look like that dude from Clone Wars. From the Ventress arc with the... Uh, ah, child marriage shit. Yeah. Where's my bride? I'm horny, I want a kid. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't support that shit. I mean, what another country does, that's their shit. I don't give a fuck. That's not my deal. <sighs> I like when women mature and shit. Anyway, so this is a story update for Marvel and DC Presents Forgotten. So, when was this? Thursday? Not Thursday. So I'm going to go to the unit. Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday morning, I was gonna go to my unit and clean it, but I didn't, I got shit sleep. <sighs> so, yeah, me and my brain, I'm like, I wanna go to bed. Brain's like, <laughs> check this idea out. Let me give you the whole plot of your story back, just like that in increments. I'm like, God damn it. <sighs> so, and I, I, like I said in the, like I said for the video about that story, I didn't get very far in it, maybe like 30 to 48 pages lowballing it. So I have parts of it set up, written down on my phone and stuff. So what I got is a few scenes from it written down. Um, what did I get done? Um, I'm changing the... And I'm in, I put this in the synopsis, well, the description of it anyway. Um, I'm changing the ages of Tuesday, Jane McKinney, and Rez. Uh, originally, Rez was 20, and Jane Tuesday was 17. But I'm changing that so they're in their 30s. So it's a lot more relatable versus all that teen bullshit. I hate that. I hate it so much. <laughs> Like, it's always, I hate that with every uh, new series of superheroes that comes out. It's always like, or any show for that matter, it's always teen related. And I'm like, but it ends up being good anyway. <laughs> the only thing I hate is that when you're like, oh, cool, someone who looks cute, but they're also jailbait. That's just grand. I like that a lot. And then you go to see how old they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like, ugh, it's so annoying. But anyway, so I... Part of the story popped up in my head, and that was when Tuesday first met Rez. And... Um, what happened? He crash lands in her backyard and whatnot, and she has a dog that's new. Um, she's also living in her parents' house, but her parents are dead. That's new. Um, what else was there? Um, let me think. Um, yeah, she, he's covered in blood and dirt. She sprays him off with the hose before he can come in the house. Um, I also changed her hair, too. Like, originally, she's still a redhead, but I gave her, like, the ends of her hair is in a spiky ponytail, and it's rainbow color. So that's really neat. Oh, cops. <laughs> Never take me alive! Nope! I'll put on my secret disguise so they'll never find me. There, now I'm hidden. Ta-da. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, that... Yeah, she has a dog. Dog's name is Lacey, and it's a pit bull. Because I love pit bulls. They are so cute and so innocent. Um, yeah, she brings him into the house. He... 
starts to eat the dog food <laughs> because, you know, he doesn't know any better and he isn't fully cognitive and stuff. He's just, you know, he's been basically bred for combat and doesn't really talk or interact, so he doesn't know anything. All he knows is combat and shit, so, you know, basic skills and shit. So it'll be a process of, you know, her helping him to find himself and, you know, grow as a character. So there's a lot of growth and development in that. And I like doing it in at 30 because, you know, I'm 33. I'm well, not 34. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Forgot what year, how old I was. I like doing it older because it makes more sense. And there's t and it's, you know, a lot more grounded and shit. It makes more sense. Um, what else? I remember that he was William Stryker's creation. Um... Yeah, Rez has barn owl wings, um, Wolverine's animanium skeleton, uh, one of the pieces of kryptonite grafted to the animanium blend, blended with the animanium, I forgot, I'm sorry, <sighs> um, and he also has the Phoenix Force as well. So, you know, he's a, na he's a pretty nasty-ass combination. And with that combination, you know, you know, Stryker struck a deal with Luther to get kryptonite. So, I'm working on figuring out which kryptonite to blend in. I'm thinking black, but I'm not entirely set on it yet. Because, you know, with any crossover, I'm analytical as fuck. <laughs> so... I'll be like really trying to figure out, you know, what would happen if, you know, that, you know, anything is brought over into another universe and the effects of that and such. Um, I still haven't fit. I think Raz is going to be definitely like 6'4", give or take. And instead of being a brick shit house build, He's going to be a little bit doughy. Yeah. And have a doughy character instead. Because I get so tired of that fucking, like, six-pack jacked shit. Like, really? Like, really? Give me a break. It's so annoying after a while. It's like, eh. It's like, it's a hard, it's the hard exterior. It's like, eh, whatever. Um... something else uh, I think that was about it but I'm still you know it's still a rough draft in my head I haven't put anything down at all aside from an excerpt that I wrote in 2010 2011 yeah so I don't know there's just there's so much to work on and there's so much to consider with this because you know, like I said before, I lost the story ages ago, so... <laughs> I do have good news about it, though. Um, I actually found... Because it's, it's set in Baltimore. And goes through Pennsylvania. So, I actually... Um, when I was in... When did I go? To, I've been to Baltimore numerous times, but... I went to the Leg Mason Gallery in 2006, and on the way down, I took so many shots of Baltimore going down uh, the Beltway and shit, coming into it, that that was my, um, there we go, couldn't get the fucking bottle open. Dumbass. Mm. I couldn't get the, um... Oh. Dumbass. Do do do.
all the shots played out in my head like a story, like a movie. Because I was, as I took the shots, I was seeing the story unfold in my head and, you know, wrote it up after I went down there. So it was like, you know, 2006, 2007, I wrote the story up. Mm. And I have all those photos. I found them on my uh, pictures disc because I have a whole stack of picture discs. Yeah. All them years ago I spent burning CDs really paid off. Although one of them wouldn't cooperate, so I was like, uh, bummer. So what I'll be doing is when I write up the scenes and stuff and where everything takes place, you know, you can look it up on Google Maps and you'll be like, oh, okay, that's what that looks like. Or if you're, you know, a native of Baltimore, you'll be like, oh shit, I know what you're talking about. So it'll be a lot of fun. The one scene that I'm that I had so much fun writing up back then was the Inner Harbor fight at the Science Center. That was so much fun. Oh my god, so much fun writing that fucker up. Ah, uh, so cool. But yeah, but there's just there's so many gaps in the story, and it was so fast paced and shit that I didn't even really get it done. And I didn't really have an end game in sight for it, so oh wow. But um, yeah, so that was a lot of fun finding them pictures again, <laughs> and then getting the story back again. That was even better because I've lost, I've had so many issues over the years with lost memories. Because trauma and shit and CPTSD. That it's hard for me to remember certain years. So finding old stuff from, you know, 14 to, you know, 12 to 14 years ago. That's nice. Even older than that. Shit. <laughs> this? Where the fuck is it? 16.9 yeah, fluid ounces. Wild cherry. This bottle used to be 24 ounces. 13 years ago yeah Pepsi used to have that I found a picture because I took so many pictures of me drinking different things from alcohol to soda lo and behold I found a diet wild cherry Pepsi pick where it was a 24 ounce bottle. I was like oh shit that's nice <sighs> so yeah I wonder why the hell he scaled back down <laughs> that's one <laughs> so um yeah, that's what I got for today. So, I'm going to get off of here, upload some shit. I'll upload this and then figure out what the fuck I'm doing. So, or right now I'll do a follow-up video. Stay tuned.